In the beginning, there was the dream. The dream of our founders, Dr. John Nersessian, Dr. Nabit Kasabian, and pharmacist Corin Nelbandian, as well as others. That dream became a reality to what is now known as the Armenian American Health Providers Organization. Today, guided by a 32-word mission statement that the original board developed, we now have over 450 healthcare providers working together using Oppo's platform, which unleashes their collective passion and collective commitment to helping others. We can say that through our programs, we have impacted the lives of thousands of our Armenian brethren, both here in the tri-state area and in Armenia as well. Papo, through the use of technology and collaboration, has been able to channel the passion and collective commitment of our membership to help affect change and improve the lives of many of those in the Armenian community. We do this through a range of programs. It all starts on a grassroots level, where we can help an individual in a time of need who can contact us through the Oppo hotline. We then go into the churches, where we talk on a one-on-one -on -one basis with the parishioners. We typically have five healthcare providers go into a church and talk in a very conversational way in a medical workshop. The idea in all of these programs is to share our knowledge and our expertise. This program has proven to be very successful and very well attended. They're doing a very good job and uh, we appreciate it for all these doctors that they, they give their, their time, their voting to educate us. Uh, nowhere can you go to a doctor's office and spend an hour with your internist, but here today all our presenters were willing to answer all the questions and listen willingly and give up their time, and they do this freely, they donate their time. <laughs> Another program which has proven very successful in the last year has to actually go in to Armenian schools in the tri-state area and share with them the latest information from our experts in both psychology, psychiatry, and pediatrics on the effects of technology on our youth. Apo also recognizes that being Armenian means that we also have special medical needs. For example, if we need a bone marrow transplant, it's not easy to come by a match. So Apo has sponsored many bone marrow screenings to help those of us in our community who are in desperate need for that match. Because of our collaboration with the Voice of Armenians TV show with the most up-to-date medical information, to date Oppo has developed over 20 TV shows and this is a very robust program under the guidance of Dr. Ohan Karadaprak. We have over 450 healthcare providers in our network. This network has benefited us as healthcare providers working with each other as an Armenian team, and it has had tremendous benefits for the Armenian community. It is really magical over 20 years how this organization has come together. And it's really because Oppo has the secret sauce. It has the social ingredient and the professional ingredient. And when you mix the professional and the social together, it's a combustible combination, which is really infectious. Today, our programming and our joy in helping people, our passion comes through, and it's attracting a growing younger crew of medical students, residency students, transfer students from abroad, 
who are seeking to advance their medical careers. And what we see is through our professional development efforts is a young, growing, intelligent, inspiring group of youth who will be APO's future in years to come. I joined APO because I strongly believe that if we are together, we can help more each other, we can help Armenia, and we can be more useful for our country, for our nation. As you can see, all these uh, young people, they graduated from the uh, Armenian uh, Yerevan Medical University. APO today took uh, this mission to bring them to the life, to bring them to the specialty, to the residences, and uh, I think there's uh, it's one of the you know, most important things that APO does today for this, this group of people. Shot shot Oknumen, Mer Hyperjishknerin, Hyastanitz, Hastat Velu Aveli. So, Line Hanada Vodutsuna Mestalis, Yar Jana Chelu, Oknelu. Yes, Husunem, Antaman Gervelo, Jamanaki Hetim, Hames Tarautsuner, Matusel, Ais Geretik, Hyaser, Yevinchuch, and Marta Ser, Napataki. It's an opportunity to be all together and communicate and exchange our hours opinion with each other. Uzum Hatuk Snurakal Tun Hatnel Association Nahagaim, Paron Najarianin, Vorkarogatele Hamakam Belais Kayerita Sapner, Yefinchov Karoganum, Ajaktum, Mes Boloris. successful missions that APO uh, undertook was the one for the CME program for Jawah and for Garapah. It was felt that the physicians that were in the faraway lands as far as the villages go, they would need a recertification so that they would become up to date as to their care of the indigenous population of the villages. In 2010, we undertook the responsibility of underwriting at least 25 physicians from either Garapag and Java to come to Yerevan for a whole month for recertification. <laughs> This is the first time I'm coming with the APO project. We have a medical mission and uh, we have a lot of specialties within our group. Uh, I'm a dentist and I'm visiting the clinic, uh, dental clinic here, which was donated by my good friend Arthur Kubikian. This program started several years ago and recognizes the fact that doctors in Karabakh, as well as in Armenia, did not have any continuing medical education since they graduated years ago. What APO has been able to do with our collaborator partner, Fund for Armenia Relief, is to now train over 125 healthcare providers in the latest techniques in addition, we regularly communicate with them using the Highbridge Telehealth program where we use electronic technologies to transfer medical information. One of the hallmarks of APO is that we are able to extend our reach and influence by collaborating with partners. APO was able to facilitate Pfizer Corporation donating that million dollar microsurgical teaching laboratory to the eye care project. And I can tell you literally, it's about saving lives. I was talking to the Minister of Health of Karabakh, who, who gave us a couple of examples. The people who came back after this training, they were able to save the life of the children because of the knowledge they acquired and because they were able to pick up the phone and call the mentor in Armenia, who on the phone while, while he was doing the operation helped him to save that life. The members of the AAHPO, uh, in order to alleviate the suffering of uh, rural uh, communities and uh, that bear the disproportionate uh, burden of disease and poverty, 
So this is going to be a, a challenging times ahead of us. We have to pull together the Armenian health professional groups in diaspora so that we can register progress uh, along with the uh, authorities in Artsakh and also in Armenia. A program for continuing medical education for doctors, which is very important over there. And uh, Apo picked it up and, and set it all up in Karabakh. And I think that's kind of wonderful and good of Apo to do that. Well, I think just their being part of Apo and supporting it, uh, they, they already know what, what they're part of. And uh, all I can tell them is that what, what Apo is doing is growing and it's important and they should continue to be interested. Apo at this point is, sh should be proud to consider itself one of the probably nucleus organizations for the AMIC organization. We're so thankful for the dream of our founders, and we're so thankful for the participation of so many healthcare providers over the last 20 years in affecting Oppo's mission. Oppo is a collaboration. We are a 100% volunteer organization. All of our programs are done with healthcare providers donating their time. But it takes more than time for these programs to take place. It takes funds that have been donated very generously by many of you. Our donors are the essential link between the pillars of our strategic plan and the strength of our future. Oppo's healthcare community wants to give our heartfelt thanks tonight's recipient of being an ambassador to medicine and humanity. If it weren't for individuals like these, Oppo wouldn't be where it is today. And if it weren't for individuals like this, Oppo would not be thinking of the next 20 years and beyond. Now, after 20 years of the birth of AHPO, my dream and AHPO's plans become true by establishing a medical center in Armenia, Yerevan or Karabakh, and here in the metropolitan area. That medical center should provide the best of health services to the communities in Armenia, Karabakh, or here in the metropolitan area. The Armenian American Health Professionals Organization has grown tremendously over the last 20 years. Its mission, clearly, early onset, was bringing together and fostering fellowship among you know, Armenian American physicians and health professionals in the local area, which has expanded to an international flavor and presence. Its goal has been overreached and overcome with its accomplishments. And clearly, I would look at it this way, looking at the first 10 years and the last 10 years. The first 10 years was a small organization, local, not influential. The last 10 years has been phenomenal. By that I mean as a organization that has done work in Armenia, has done work in the local community, has done work in educating Armenian physicians, has done work in educating local students, it has gone beyond what I could have ever imagined or thought of 20 years ago. For the last 20 years, APA has been relentless in its efforts to make the dreams of our founders a reality. It is our dream for the next generation to be ceaseless in its efforts to continue APA's legacy of helping save lives. <laughs>